What's going on, my friends and frenemies? Welcome back to the shed. And I welcome you to yet another review. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, I'm okay. feel a bit groggy today, man. Like, my missus bought me, like, a, a Korean sticky rice and noodles and sticky chicken some or of a bowl last night and i didn't eat it last night so i ate it this morning for breakfast and um yeah i took a fair bit of insulin for my diabetes because you know anything like from that part of the country tends to be sweet and you know they bang sugar in it but i took quite a big dose of insulin and uh, so I just started feeling a bit groggy. So I took a blood sugar and uh, it just come up on a meter saying hi. At first I thought he was just being friendly, but apparently he meant call a doctor. <laughs> nah, I'm all right. I took more insulin and it had come down, but I was bloody surprised the amount of sugar that must have been in it. Shocking. But um, yeah. Today we are doing a snuff, and today we are doing... Thanks for watching, thanks for your support. I'll see you soon. Keep well. Chin chin. So, that's what we are doing next. Um, yeah, so I won't muck about. I shall just crack into her and see what she's saying, shall we? Okay, so to look at, it is a dark chocolatey brown. I'm pretty sure they're all a similar colour, pretty close. But it's definitely got the same, you know, I would say above medium moisture, plenty moisture. And it's like a medium fine grind. It's got that lovely broadly sort of texture and look and you know spot on as far as texture is concerned. Um, comfortable for the connoisseur to take and easy for the beginner to take so there's nothing to complain there. Um, so let's jump into the old tin note. yeah it's much what it says in the description to be honest and what i've heard anyone else say but there's like a, a lemony scent to it and then like a earthy pe sort of smell i suppose yeah it smells good a bit smoky and woody and then there's some other things in there that that kind of baffling, but I'll get to that in a pinch. So, let's bang her up the old snozzaroo. Let's see what she's saying. Okay, so this one has got a bit more of a kick to it. The menthol in this is a real sharp pinch, um, like a real stingy burn. Makes your eyes water a little bit. Um, it is a little cooling. It has got a bit of a punch to it, but it's not it's not a painful punch. I would say, for me at least, it's still enjoyable, you know? It's not over the top, over the top. But this one comes with uh, it, its fists up, I think. Um, yeah, the lemony, earthy sort of smoky woodsy scent is there 
is pleasant. You know, that, that sort of pinch sharp burn doesn't last too long. You know, you take it, you get the pinch and then it settles out to a nice cooling, refreshing sort of sensation. Um, yeah, so it's got a lemony, earthy, peaty sort of scent with wood and a sort of smokiness to it but this one I don't know why but I find the tobacco a little bit easier to pick up in this and that's what I think is bringing through that sort of peaty earthy woodsy smoky scent and then you got the sort of spiciness to it the spicy level and this is where we get into uh, where it gets a little interesting. So I'll jump into bump number two and I'll explain what I mean. <laughs> so I've made a few comments on a few other snuffs in the past about this scent that's in there that I can't quite identify I didn't quite know what it was and the snuffs that I'm talking about is you can pick it up in um, the Fido spicy treat you can pick it up in the six photos Indian curry snuff and I'm pretty sure to a lesser extent Well, no, not to a lesser extent, but you, you can pick it up in Green Dragon as well. But there's... So I've picked it up in them three scents. And it's the scent that I made a comment about it reminding me kind of... Something it reminded me about going around a friend of my family's. My sort of adopted Uncle Charlie that I had as a kid. Um... I'm sure I used to smell it when I used to go around there. And then I picked it up somewhere else. Um, mystery scent I picked up in this, which is, I don't know if you get it in America, but it's basically, it's just like beard oil, you know? But it's a brand called Bulldog. And in the UK, they do like natural products. Like they brought out a razor that was made with a bamboo handle and it was recyclable and all this sort of stuff. And they only use natural scents and products in their, you know, lotions and bums. It's like they do like male grooming products. And uh, when I opened this up, I could smell it in here, that same scent, right? So I was like, ah, oh, finally, something that might have it written on a bottle. So I had a look at it. And the three ingredients it says it's got in it is aloe, uh, calamina. I don't know, it's like calamine, but spelt with an A in end. I don't know if that's exactly the same as calamine or if it's something completely different. And then it says green tea. Hmm. Now, I know people said there was green tea and green dragon. And I'm starting to wonder if that's the kind of scent that I'm picking up. And maybe, I don't know, because, you know, Charlie's dead now. He died a good few years ago. But he might have drunk green tea, for all I know. And in all honesty, I've never drunk green tea, so I haven't got a clue what it smells like. I kept saying to my missus I wanted to buy some, just so that I could, you know, identify the scent. So, I don't know, I could be wrong. I didn't think it would be something like green tea, but maybe that's the scent. But regardless if it is green tea or not, it's definitely in this. And it's 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 a it's less to a lesser extent in this. But I definitely pick up that same aroma as I say in Fido Spicy Treat. Um and that 
Indian curry. So I'll be interested to see if anyone agrees with me or whether I'm just chatting absolute rubbish, which to be fair, there's a good chance that could be the case. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time, I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I don't know. I've got a feeling that's there, but for whatever it is, it is a nice, pleasant scent. And that's the sort of spicy bit of it, I think. probably got something else maybe a mixture of things but it almost reminds me like I said before I said at the time like it reminded me of a sort of Mel's it wouldn't be out of place in sort of like a Mel's um, aftershave or something which you know it's probably because I might have picked it up in something like this in the past. I don't know. But yeah, I found that. Went, put it on my face. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, there's that scent. <laughs> I tried asking my missus, but she was just like, what the hell are you on about? <laughs> she just thinks all my snuff and tobacco thing. It's some sort of crazy obsession. Uh, she might be right, but um, yeah. So nicotine's fairly high on it, and I don't know. I think it's a good one. I I've really been enjoying it. But then again, as I said, every one that I pick up of Simon's sort of becomes my favourite. The only one that I really wasn't really... It wasn't... I didn't... It wasn't that I didn't like it. I just wasn't... like... enamoured with it is... Uh, Sanity Claws. I don't know. That one just seemed a little bit... plain to me. Or plainer. But... You know, it's still solid snuff. As I said at the time, like I think that was Simon's love letter to, you know, his sort of snuffs that he likes, like uh, Jip or, you know, McChrystal's ONG and, you know, like, well, not exactly because they haven't got clove in it, but, it, you know, Simon likes clove as well, so it's sort of got an element of them in it and an element of... Uh, An element of clove. But anyway, that was sanity claws, not this. I'm rabbiting on about the wrong one now. But I'm picking up a scent now that I actually nearly forgot about. That once I've had it in my nose for a bit, and it starts to sort of like mellow down a bit, and I get like a bit of a... Like a herby scent. And I can't quite pick out what it is I, I want to say it sort of reminds me of something like sage or something like that maybe I don't know because in all honesty I'm not that's probably one of my weak points the scent of herbs I'm not a big cooker <laughs> I don't really cook so I certainly don't muck around with herbs and stuff so um, you don't really need that for beans on toast. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely a couple of mysteries in this one. But it's good. It's good, and I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna approve it. I don't care. People might get angry because I'm just approving them all. But look, I like it. I like it. When the tin's done, I will probably buy more of it. And uh, I'm definitely going to use all this tin. I tell you that much. Um, yeah, it's good. I, d I don't know. Simon's knocked him out of the park. I am really impressed. 
really impressed. He's made me scared to ever try and make a snuff myself. Because <laughs> I don't think I could beat it. You know? Yeah. I really enjoyed this line. I don't know. If I didn't, I'd say I didn't. I think I've earned your trust enough by now. Um, if I if I think it's crap, then I will call it out. It's just that, in all reality, there ain't a lot that I don't like. <laughs> for better, for worse. Um, yeah, so there you go. Chin, chin. I don't know which one I'm doing next. I can't remember. I have to have a look at the poll again. So, uh, you know, in the poll, you are able to cancel your pick and put your pick somewhere else. So now look, Chin Chin and um, my head's just gone blank. What was the one that I done last time? Chin Chin and oh my god why is my head gone blank I just keep thinking duck soup but I haven't done that one yet horse feathers was the other one. Oh, ding dong sorry having a bit of a brain fart as it were um yeah so it's going to be duck soup or um horse feather so like i said if you picked one of the others you can go and cancel it and then add your vote again as to what you would like to see next um yeah i don't think there's anything else to report really um i'm all right i'm uh cracking along enjoying myself i'm enjoying making videos again it's good to be back and the weather's warming up it's not ideal, but I, I, I prefer the weather like this. I don't like it really freezing cold. I don't like it baking hot. So this kind of bit of spring and then a bit of autumn, they're my kind, that's my times of year. That's when I feel the most comfortable. So, uh, yeah, making the most of it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I don't want to rub it on too much and start leaving big pauses. Uh, so I'll say, you know, whether you tap or pinch or smoke a pipe or a stick, remember to come back to the shed. And until then, I shall bid you farewell. Or... Ching -ching.